Hello Udemy, I am Shazad Ahmed from Shakespeare.com and welcome in lecture number 12. Today we are going to validate our forms uh, so you can uh, better understand how can uh, you validate your forms. First of all, uh, in the last lecture we learned how can you create your forms using PHP form helper. Okay, uh, you can see we are loading a form helper. And now we are, uh, we have created some, we have opened our form, this is closing, uh, functions, we have created uh, some drop down passwords, hidden fields, and upload values. So for now, I'm saying I have only a single input, okay, single input, password, and not hidden field, file, okay, first of all, I have to keep all of my code inside a place. So you can check out further if you need it. I'm saying this is method uh, form validation. Okay, now copy all of these form. Okay, now you can see we are loading our form, but remove your cities, hidden fields and all of these okay just make it simple so you can better understand what's going on go to your page main controller refresh your page so now you can see you have your uh, field your password for suppose this is your name and in this time I'm saying password and uh, value is nothing and I am going to create another password field now I am saying confirm password okay we have name password confirm password refresh the page so now you can see we have three fields for now you can also create your form in your helper for suppose sorry not helper in your view I am saying this load I am saying view Okay, in this time I'm saying my form. Go to your application, view, create your file which is my form. And now you have created your form and now create your HTML tags. I have just created the HTML tag, remove this H1 and also image so now you have your uh, some html tags inside your myform.php which you have just created the view now copy all of the above code and paste this code here go to your page refresh the page you can see you have just created a form inside your view now you view page source you have html html close and your form okay now you have to echo I'm saying echo validation validations errors okay now go to your page refresh the page hit your form it's redirecting to my submit change your uh, fields for suppose now I'm saying sign up so since we don't have a sign up methods so go to your controller create a sign up method and now echo something here I'm saying working you refresh the page now you can see go to your page refresh the page hit the button it's saying it's submitting your form to your sign up methods it's saying working which we have just created so here you need few things first of all you have to load the library which library form validation go to your page refresh the page or you can see it's working fine so that's why if you are providing the wrong name of your uh, library now it's giving you an error so refresh the page it's working fine you have just loaded now you have to call some 
methods i'm saying this form validation and now i'm saying that uh, set rules set rules it takes few parameters for suppose in the first parameter this is form validations make sure form underscore validations and set rules first of all the name of your field what is the name of your field this is first rule the name of your field then the error which you want to show for suppose name field is required in the third parameter you pass the required first of all and now i'm going to create three fields because we have three fields name password confirm password you can call password and now you can call confirm password first of all in this time you have to specify your error name in this time i'm saying password password field is required make sure this is required not required spelling mistake okay so i'm saying the confirm password is required confirm password field is required and now i have to call a method in the if condition okay now i have to call a method i'm saying that uh, okay okay now i'm saying this i'm saying form validation now i'm saying run if this form validated is this if this method which is run method give us a false then we are saying error here for suppose and we are saying that fine go to your page refresh the page you can see error here it's saying error here so it's working because you are not supplying the fields you are uh, these these fields are empty hit the button you can see it's saying error here okay so now what you need you just need to load your this view again for suppose i'm saying uh this uh, i'm saying index method okay refresh the page now hit the button you can see and now it's saying the name field is required then the name field is required okay so you don't need to specify your required i'm saying the name field for suppose just a second just just specify your uh, fields refresh the page you can see now it's saying the name field uh, just okay field is also okay you just pass the field name okay now it's saying the name field is required the password field is required the confirm password field is required you can see you are just providing the second parameter here but it's automatically creating the field is required because you have your required for suppose if you want to match for suppose this is your email this is your password this is your confirm password now you need to match these two fields because you are saying this is a password this is a confirm password so how can you match you uh, you can use this or sign okay now here you can say that okay now you can say here that matches 
with password provide the so now refresh the page it's saying these fields are required now provide us the data shakzi i am saying kk i am giving a wrong password here now i am saying upload you can see now it's saying the confirm password field does not match the password field okay so in this way you can uh, validate your form uh, like this for suppose uh, you can use required if you are using more than if you are adding more than one validations like this required and mesh password you can uh, use these okay so uh, these are the examples you can find the more okay go to your libraries you can find form validation form validation okay so you can see references where are okay so you can see we are we have just used the required we use the matches you also use the regular expressions difference is unique maximum length minimum length x for suppose if you are adding the minimum length of your name you can pass your or sign so this is or sign and i am saying single sign this single sign okay i am saying minimum length is 12 for suppose go to your form refresh your page now it's saying unable to access an error message field name required okay now i'm saying this is password confirm password upload length 12 minimum underscore length name required okay refresh the page okay it's working fine because we are giving the spaces here so you don't need to give your space here okay so now it's saying the name field must be at least 12 character if you are providing more than 12 character then uh, you can say it's saying okay fine you can also set your maximum maximum character so here is your maximum character and the length of your uh, length of your character you can also use greater than less than sign and alphanumeric if you are if you are if you want to fetch the only numeric value you can pass the numeric value here i am saying the numeric inside your name field refresh the okay hit the hit the upload button you can see now your name field must contain only number now you are passing the number here and you you are passing the same fields it's saying okay working fine whenever you pass the string here now it, now it's saying must be a numbers so it's totally depend upon you how you are what is your requirement how you are working on your forms so in this way you can create your form you can validate uh, those forms uh, by using the form validations okay so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to learn some libraries uh, so you can better understand so thank you for watching